50 grams of oats with 200 ml of water, 50 grams of strawberries, 50 grams of blueberries, one serving of toast with one, um, 22 grams of peanut butter on top. So, YouTube, I'm a big, big fan of sauces. When it comes to my food, I do like my seasoning, I prefer to put my sauce on instead. So, all you do, even when you're in a cup, just make sure you weigh out your sauces. For, for example, my barbecue sauce, I'm gonna put my, on my tuna, and it sounds a bit dodgy, but have a try, it's quite nice. Tuna and baked potato. So all I'm literally gonna do is weigh out one serving of this on the back. Um, that's a look, carbs, four gram. Protein, 0 0.1. And a trace of fat, so not too bad. So I put in 19 grams there. And all we'll do is just add it into the chat. So 200 grams of baked potato, 130 grams of tuna, and 19 grams of barbecue sauce for meal number two. So we're done, we made it. Got myself some new glasses after the last episode. Don't know if you noticed, but um, I'd sat on them and the glasses were all wonky, so I just got myself some new ones before we uh, set off for today, because it's been a little bit sunny. It's died down a little bit now, it's starting to rain. So, the aim, oh, I'm not going to say just in case I don't end up actually getting up, but I'm going to go maybe get some new shoes, maybe a few new t-shirts, maybe a few vests as well, but we'll just have to see. I'm not saying anything for definite until I get back in my car. Uh, just to let you know what I've been eating on the way here. Have myself bananas. Had myself shake. What's good YouTube, so another flashback bit of footage again. We've got a little bit of a chess session to be showing you here. We always are starting off on a flat bench at the moment. We're either doing some resistance band work, negative or positive, or just a raw bench pressing itself. Then we'll generally move on to an incline movement with it being dumbbells, flies, or a bench press. So, do some dumbbell pressing here, with a slight twist at the top again. We are only two, less than two weeks out from me commentating now that this video was two and a half, I believe. Um, and it's all about getting those contractions in there at the moment and actually feeling the muscle work. It's obviously you're trying to keep it as heavy as you can still because you want to maintain as much muscle mass and strength as you physically can. But it's about feeling the muscles actually working and getting them firing and twitching. So, doing incline dumbbells for sets of 10 or 12. I'm really focusing on the squeeze at the top. Wearing a hat, even in a vest, a bit, a little bit controversial there. My head's, my head's cold, but my body's not. <laughs> um, it's just kind of just to really sweat it out and just get as warm as I physically can, and just help with the psychological effects of if I'm out warm and sweated, I'm pushing myself hard, and I feel as if I'm burning most calories through my workout. So then we moved on to some seated cable flies. If you haven't done these before, I'd highly suggest having a go at them. All you basically need to do is have one of the dual adjustable pulleys at your gym, or if not, what you can basically do is you get your cable crossovers, grab the handles from the bottom, set up a bench, set it up on an incline, but you're better off trying to set it up with a flat bench, uh, not a flat bench, an upright tall bench, and trying to bring them in as such. If you can as well, try and twist your palms in towards the bottom just to get a really tight squeeze on that decline chest and just really feel the contraction throughout the movement. This was a superset, so from here we moved on to our floor bench press. Not the heaviest weight in the world, but I was getting very close to failure there with the flies, so I've already pre exhausted my chest and all the floor bench presses. You just lay down on the floor, scaps nice and tight pinned into the floor, legs bent up. Bending your elbows down till your elbows touch the floor and then power the weight back up as fast as you can, as hard as you can while trying to concentrate on squeezing your chest. Big tip, as you bring your elbows down, do not relax your arms, do not relax your core. You've got to keep everything tight, you've got to pretend it's a real bench press. If you relax it when you get down, it'll hurt your wrists, it'll hurt your shoulders. Thanks for watching again guys and I'll catch you on the next video. So it's quarts ten at night and I'm about to go do some cardio this summer. Down there. It's only going to be a little bit. I'm just going to do a walk. Not really running today. Um, late night, I'm in all black. New Nike jumper. New Nike kicks as well. So, 
try them out, see how they feel. Feels nice already, but hat on as well, just because it's a bit warm up, a bit warm, a bit cold outside. So yeah, off we go.